Kerala state has most often than not been complaining about declining share in devolution of tax revenue by the central government. Of late, what has been in the news is the alleged delay in the dispersal of GST compensation to Kerala. And on Monday, Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman talked about GST compensation to some states. She said the delay is due to non-availability of AG's authenticated certificate and that Kerala has not sent even a single such certificate since 2017-18. She urged Kerala MP N.K. Premachandran to sit with the state government and request it to send the AG certificates in one go. Sita Raman promised that she would clear the dues within a reasonable time after receiving them. You have not sent the AG certificate even for one year and you keep blaming us that we are not giving you money on time. On the contrary, in the matter of tax devolution as per Finance Commission report, two installments instead of one have gone to all states. Kerala was also benefited from that, she said. Replying to a supplementary question, she also said that Rs 86,912 crore has been released for the goods and services tax or GST compensation payable to all states up to May 31, 2022. The finance minister said if there is any delay of getting the AG's authentication, it is a matter between the AG and the state government concerned and they have to sort it out. Sitharaman underlined that to get GST compensation, state governments have to do a lot more. The state governments have to pardon me using the word, be efficient to sort out things with the AG. But without AG certificate beyond a certain limits, it is very difficult for me to go, she said. The union minister said with regard to Tamil Nadu, the AG certificate has been received for 2017-18 and the amount has been released. On the other hand, Kerala Finance Minister K.N. Balagopal on Monday said that there is currently no dispute between the sender and Kerala over the GST dues to be received by the state. Taking to Facebook, Balagopal stated that the question raised by N.K. Premachandran MP regarding the GST dues in parliament was factually incorrect. The sender owes Kerala only Rs 750 crore as arrears. By raising such questions, some people are trying to hide the real issues by making it appear that there is a dispute over issues where there is no dispute, he wrote. News Desk, Global.